I'd like to just take a moment. We laid a good one to rest today. Uh, Mr. Tim Guyon, you could just take a minute, um, a moment, a prayer, a thought, however it is you send good vibes to folks. Keep his wife, Kendra, with two boys, Grant, Eric. Thoughts. Just a moment of silence. Roll call, please. Mr. Moe? Here. Mr. Hoover? Here. Mr. Hopper? Here. Mr. Harris? Present. Mr. Campbell? Present. One voting advisor, Mr. Alexander? Present. Thank you. Take a motion to approve our minutes from our June 14th meeting. I'm going to be approved with your name. Mr. Hoover is our second. I'll second. Mr. Harris, thank you. Mr. President, I'll abstain at this time. Okay. Any questions, comments from anybody? Corrections, deletions? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Minutes are approved 4 to 0 with one abstention. Uh, new business resolution number 2022 12. Amendment to resolution. Number 2022-03, Resolution of the Greenwood Redevelopment Commission declaring an amendment to the Greenwood Eastside Economic Development Area and the Economic Development Plan. Any amendments for that? Traded between various different legal 
representation, even up to just very recently. Uh, so as far as an overview in your packets, you should have received a full fiscal, fiscal report uh, that walks through the, this estimated tax increment finance impact of this, assuming the, if the project agreement is entered into, one of the conditions would be that subsequent meeting we'd be looking to do an allocation area uh, for for this uh, specific project site. The site consists of four separate current parcels, two of which would be this proposed phase one, two for the proposed phase two. Right now, phase one is effectively a multi-family apartment uh, complex. Phase two is uh, currently estimated to be a senior care facility. The Developers request has approximately $3.1 million worth of utility related infrastructure costs to develop the project. Uh, their total estimated project costs are approximately $100 million. The request is effectively uh, $750,000 worth of infrastructure tip support uh, conditions are phased out between phase 500,000 for phase one and 250,000 for phase two. Happy to answer any questions uh, regarding the, the project as for the for the proposed agreed, project agreement terms and conditions. You know, Mr. Watson has had an opportunity to review this as well as the city's legal department and the city's outside legal representation along with developers council. Assuming the project agreement is entered into, the this project has went through uh, a lot of the entitlement process. So while our land has not been closed, it is currently scheduled for outside closing end of September with uh, construction to start this fall from land alteration perspective. And it did receive favorable uh, favorable recommendations from the planning commission last month. Yeah, and just to get this on record. So we're going to take a property that's earning about 10 grand in property taxes and turn it into $1.2 million in annual property taxes, approximately. Yes, yes, sir. And there, one of the notions that I mentioned is in the report. Uh, the, I would also take note of the tax revenue from a per acre perspective. It's also quite, quite impacted. I just wanted to get that on the record. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I would note that uh, procedurally, this would be, according to my reading, subject to the two meeting rule. And so this would either be uh, just an introduction with the final approval to occur at the next meeting, if the meeting applies, or if there was a desire to approve this finally today, we would need a uh, four person majority to suspend that. Do we, uh, just out of curiosity, do we need to approve it right away, Adam, or is it, can it wait another month? Or is there a benefit to approving it now? No, I see Dylan's on, I'll just talk, he's representing uh, Dick Boyd on this matter. I know that time time is obviously important to them. I, I don't want to speak out of turn, and I want to make sure you all have due process. So Dylan, is there, I don't know if you can hear us and you can speak, sir, but if, if you can hear us, I'm happy to rephrase the question as well. Yeah, thank you all for giving me the opportunity to speak this evening. Uh, Dylan Fisher with the Wheatley Group, representing the Denton Floyd Development Group. Um, you know, time time is of the essence. We are working, and we've been working for the last year and a half to get through the entitlement process. Uh, we're we're trying to close in September of this year to begin construction in October. And this document here is an important hurdle to get our lenders and equity partners. So if you are able to suspend the bylaws and adopt for tonight's meeting, be greatly appreciated. If if not, we'll we'll adjust um, and make concessions concessions on our timeline and, and review whether or not we can get started in October. One, one other thing of note, possibly, are the conditions by which phase one or phase two would even be dispersed. So. Uh, if you look at the milestone requirements, they actually have to receive a certificate of occupancy before the initial incentive would even be eligible to be paid out. So that would potentially create additional protection uh, one way or the other. And, and Adam, can you just clarify the status of this property currently? 
as it relates to being in uh, or outside the, the TIP district? Yeah, good, good question. So uh, it's recently annexed into the city to the degree, but it is not currently within an allocation area. The intention is, if this is approved by the Redevelopment Commission, is to create a project-specific uh, multi-parcel allocation area and bring that back for you as the re ultimate retainment source to, to fund this. The short term, as, as documented in the agreement, the east side allocation area would be the initial committee body with the future allocation area uh, to be for the reimbursement body. So if, if we approve this today, it still has to go before what other boards and commissions? Yeah, good question. So uh, as I understand it, there would be uh, the group project agreement would not go before any other board or commission, um, but the the condition by which the, the incentive payments would be met would re one require allocation, the future allocation area be created. The project obviously closes, construction starts, they actually complete, receive a certificate of occupancy, and then they provide a certificate, uh, of, I think it's a completion, certificate of completion, effectively showing that they've put uh, the utilities in, in the ground uh, to the city's technical. So yeah. city, I'm sorry, city council doesn't have to approve this? City council does oh. not need to approve the project. My names don't look familiar to me, but I'm looking at the drawings here. We've already approved at least the annexation for this particular yeah. project that brought it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we approved the annexation. Yeah, with the intention of putting this project there, because I remember these drawings. But would uh, you then have to approve the project as the city council? And what about the project specific allocation area? Is it, is there any peril of that not occurring? In other words, we make the commitment to, you know, if they meet these requirements, then um, we have our our support payments to them. Um, if once they meet the requirements, if the allocation area is, if there's any peril of that not being approved by another body, is that? Is that a possibility? That is a possibility because the allocation area would go through the five step process to create that. Right. And the RDC planning commission and council would all be would be determining bodies for that. That would be the answer to Chris. Yeah, it would be foolish. The foolish for us not to know. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. And if, as I recall, with this project in mind, I mean, I'm usually kind of a jerk about that stuff. I don't think there's any vinyl or anything that's allowed. On this property, as I recall, so yeah, <laughs> there is no. I'm sorry, no one. No vinyl allowed on oh, the project. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David's checklist. <laughs> yeah, my right. checklist of things that before they get my vote that I have to that they have to agree to. Yeah, I, I would make one other note. Um, if the funding source uh, for this project agreement is, is to be exclusively property itself, and then I, I think we probably need to review the terms of the agreement as proposed as it's currently drafted, okay. because it wasn't my understanding that that was going to be a limitation in the agreement. Okay. So that'd be a reason not to suspend the rules and proceed this afternoon? Well, Do you need further time to review the terms? Not necessarily you have to just because general our bylaws say that when you approve an agreement you're at the same time authorizing your officers to actually finalize and negotiate any final you know, changes or revisions that are needed so when you approve this agreement you're not necessarily saying it can't change whatsoever the rules say that those officers have that authority to make changes or I'll tell you I'll move that we uh, suspend the rules uh, <coughs> and uh, consider this the final adoption. Is there a second? I'll second uh, with one comment. Okay. Um, I read over the project that you sent to us ahead of time and I've read it thoroughly. It seems like a great project. Um, it sounds like from the gentleman speaking that sooner would be better than later. So I'm going to vote in favor, but just having looked at the project, it looks like a, a pretty good project for the city. Any questions, comments? 
Oh, that's okay, Brian. Um, uh, all those opposed nay. All right, motion to approve staff. Is there a motion to approve all those favor? Any questions on the project? All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Thank you. Is that me? Five minutes is moved into place. Yep. All right. Capital project report. Downtown revitalization consideration of grant. Greenwood Community Development Corporation to acquire 200 pieces of land. Yes, this would be a $300,000 grant from Google to, to uh, the GCDC to acquire uh, and demolish uh, uh, the 200 East Main, which is the remaining red structure of the elevator fire from about a year ago. Any further comments from the commission members? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Horsville Road Sports Complex Park, consideration of amendment to the PSA with hiring. Yes, so we had thought uh, when we had drawn up the budget hiring that the graphic production, which actually wasn't to them, but was done all the uh, consultant for the Horsville Road uh, Sports Park, which is now under construction, the big way to go by there, uh, was under the uh, design contract for that. It wasn't, um, so it ended up uh, taking its own path. Yeah, just their normal work. And so this 5,822 will flow through them and go. Um, you've seen all the images, so we're hanging up here. Uh, they were presented and helped the council and this body understand what they were getting for that worst over the bond that paid for that, that they needed for that project. Uh, it's $5,822 for those conceptual images of that uh, and renderings of that 40 acre park. I move to approve your amendment to the professional service agreement. All right. Is there a second? Uh, that would be actually probably best to do Wurzel Road, if I ask you Wurzel Road, Wurzel Road. I've never asked <laughs> but it's true. All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, aye. That's what David, if you go by there, that project's been yeah. really going. Yeah, they entered into major land alterations, so. It's nice and flat, right? Just throw some ball diamonds out there and be ready to go. I have all of the hell of a lot of taggers. Get out there with a the handbag. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Take care. Have a good night. You too, sir. Uh, financial report, monthly financial report. I have really no other com no comments other than the the actual bonds related to that project that we just discussed could close. We're setting up uh, the proceeds fund for that, and that interactive link will be updated. So if you just kind of scroll through, you'll see the Worcester Road bond proceeds fund added to your subsequent report. Uh, otherwise, that's all I have relative to that item. 
anything you want to say about our 2023 budget? Yeah, so um, the this is your general fund portion. So this is the, the portion where um, it's your non-TIP, you know, non-TIP appropriated budget. It's been the same for the last two years, uh, which generally isn't necessarily great. We want to make sure that we adjust for trend, but um, I shared a budget to actual report, and when you look at it year to date, year over year, it's actually you're relatively good shape relative to that. So unless there's any core changes, I, I think a proposal to continue the budget at, at what it's been in the last couple of years would be would be sufficient. Um, keep in mind at the end of the year, there's the process is to always carry over unspent dollars and commit those. So that ends up giving you additional budgetary capacity as well. Um, so tonight what we're asking for would be a motion uh, to for a recommended budget where that can be included in the overall count of the proposed budget. Thank you very much. Is there a second? I'll second. Any questions or comments for anybody? Mr. Craver, I. I. All those opposed, nay. Motion for the five zero. Thank uh, you. The only thing I see on here is the fiduciary bonds. Just a note to uh, you know, get that, get that kick in earlier. Yeah. <laughs> One last general comment I made that I should have said under the monthly financial report is included in your packet for TIP trend collections through June 30, 2022, as compared to June 30, 21, and 20, up pretty significantly. So I'd encourage you to look at that trend. The largest driver of that is the Horseville Road allocation trend. So look at that. Was the central TIP was down? Is that, uh, did I read that right? From like a million to 800? Yeah. It's uh, timing. There, okay. there was a large taxpayer that actually paid both distributions and the spring. Uh, the largest percent gain, percent and dollar gain, was for the Road. So, okay. Thank you. Glad you said so. Otherwise, I have to check. Department of Reports, Mr. Watson. Appropriation Council has nothing to date. Mr. Watson. We have the follow up on one click release of its letter of credit. We had some difficulty locating the Original of the letter of credit, which is a typical procedure for releasing it, is to give the letter of original letter of credit back to the bank. Um, and because of that, we worked out with the bank and uh, one clicks uh, representatives uh, to provide a letter approved in, uh, at a regional commission meeting. And you provided that letter. Uh, Update on information just yesterday, Amanda received from the uh, clerk's office the original. And uh, so she asked, well, do we st still do it? And just in the abundance of caution, since we already got it set up, I, yeah, I would suggest that we go ahead and have a motion to approve uh, the letter. And uh, that way, if something should come up, we have the letter back. So reading this letter, it says we did this at the last meeting. It was approved at the last meeting, okay. um, but this letter, obviously, it's going to be approved today, sure. uh, and this is just evidencing what was done at the last meeting. I'll make that motion. Okay. Any questions from anybody? Those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Uh, anything from the controller's office tonight? Nothing for me. Oh, no. Mr. Wright. Uh, Mr. St. John, before we get started, I have a question for you, and maybe for uh, uh, Chris Jones' question. So we had asked you, or at least I had asked you before, um, the roundabout at Honey Creek and Stones Crossing and then the bridge going in and down back north of there, uh, that that wouldn't start maybe till September, but again, they're moving dirt and doing stuff over there. So what's happening? There yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, the full closure of the intersection of Stones Crossing Road and Honey Creek would happen in September. Right now they're scheduled for September 1st. Uh, they're doing as much work as they can uh, while maintaining the, the roadway. Uh, so right now at that intersection they're cutting in the detention pile will go there as well as pushing some grading. Um, obviously that roundabout will be wider than the current roadway at intersection. Cool. Thank you. Is that something I'm good to share with? The transportation department at the school. Yes. Because you're going to put a major kink in the bus routes through there. Yes. How long is that going to be closed? 60 day closure. 
sort of round about. Okay. Um, and uh, Mr. Jones is pretty proud about a 90 day closure that will extend a little bit. Okay. And you, and you said beginning of September 1st? That's the current plan schedule. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Sarah will be out. All right. Floor is yours, sir. All right. Uh, the first item I have before you tonight is the Grand Road Keep Lane traffic signal. Uh, a request for an amendment to the contract with Midwestern of Rep Electric. Uh, you may recall last year, I believe, a new signal was installed at Graham Road in Keaton. Uh, it kind of has a unique configuration with the driveway to the east, and so the stop bar is set back kind of far from the actual intersection so that the gentleman who owns that property can not be blocked into his property. Um, However, people weren't stopping at that stop bar, so the, the previous city engineer and the city staff here uh, made a decision to add a stop here on red sign uh, with flashing LED lights. And now there is up there. Um, that's been installed. The cost was $3,300 for Midwestern Electric to do it. Um, I have been advised because it is related to that signal project, it is best to request an amendment to that uh, original signal contract. $3,300? Yes. Okay, there's a second. May have already said whether it was inside the scope or outside the scope of the it was outside of their original scope okay. but we asked them to yes we did the, the passing was for accordion and some other things okay. yeah. on the movie uh, approved the amendment to the contract yes for mr Rivers, is there a second i'll second any questions for mr second all those in favor aye aye, aye. aye. all those opposed aye Last question to put you on the spot. Uh, I've had some folks, uh, including Ms. Gibson, ask about the four way stop now at uh, Meridian and Serena Way. Do you yes. have anything to draw people's attention to the two new stop signs so that they don't flow through those? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure currently with a temporary uh, all way stop condition right now as part of the maintenance of traffic. Um, we can certainly work with the contractors out there with the street department to. Add to advance warning signage. I actually think there might be heading south. I even had several police officers today say, I wonder how many times I ran that thing before I noticed yeah, that I, it was even I, there. So for the uh, well too, there is um, an interest in making that a permanent hallway stop patrol uh, moving forward in the future, um, at which point we can certainly add some advanced warning signage and advanced warning systems. And we don't have a roundabout there because. Duke's stuff is too close. Is that is, is uh, what they call that? Yeah, I do. There was some issues with yeah. uh, or Howard Box or yeah. something. Okay. Yeah, with the church, I think. And some things. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but there was also on that hill, might have made it difficult yeah. as well. Okay, thank you. Anything else for us? Anything else for me? <laughs> yes. Thanks. Glad you're here. Anything from the mayor's office? No. Is there a motion to approve our July claims docket in the amount of $1,000? 
So anybody in the room or on the interwebs for us today? Hearing nothing, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.